call it a SaaS crash. The Wisdom Tree Cloud Computing ETF, tracking some of the most important names in cloud, just had its worst week since the beginning of the pandemic. Our Frank Holland has an update on that sector. Hey, Frank. Hey there, Carl. Uh, Double-digit losses for cloud stocks last week. The WCLD Cloud Computing ETF, the hardest hit. Those declines continuing today with the 10-year yield hovering above 4%. Jay Powell's comments that rates could move higher than previously expected, causing deep declines in even blue chip cloud stocks like Salesforce and Palo Alto. High valuation names like Snowflake, four PE over 500, falling harder than the broader group. But despite recession fears, cloud spending has remained stable in the second half of 2020. Important to note, as you can see here, it has fallen from first half levels, leaving the question which cloud stocks could be impacted by this slight downturn. This week, we'll see a test of some areas. Akame reports tomorrow and is considered a leader in SaaS content delivery networks, or CDN. Revenues are forecast to be flat. EPS to decline by 15 percent. Their results will be a test of product-led growth, or essentially banking on the product and its performance as opposed to a sales-focused strategy. It's also a litmus test of cybersecurity demand, where Akame gets 45 percent of revenue. Five Nine reports after the bell today. It brings call and contact centers to the cloud. Earnings and revenue forecasts both are, in, are forecast to both increase just about 25 percent. That growth depended on consumer spending and customer engagement for their customers. Toast is forecast to report a larger loss year over year with revenue of 48 percent growth. It's an example of a company with the freemium model. This is where a basic part of the platform is offered for free and then those extras come at a premium. Toast focuses on restaurant software, so pretty much a broad look at different cloud stocks and the demand for them and what potential headwinds they may be facing, Deirdre. Yep, as you said, after a brutal week, even uh, cybersecurity was hit last week, which has been more immune right. this year. Frank Holland, thank you very much. Thank you.